What is up YouTube? Ruben here and today I'm going to show you guys how to install Windows NT 3.1 in VirtualBox. This particular version of Windows does require you to have VirtualBox because if you do that in Virtual PC it will not work and it will brick the entire OS. I also try to do that using a virtual hard drive that had that OS on it and it had corrupted files. So that's going to fail here. So let's go ahead and get started. You're going to need VirtualBox, WinRAR, and a direct link to WinRAR PC. So let's go ahead and start. So we're going to hit new and you're going to type in Windows NT 3.1. You want to make sure you set it to Windows 3.1, then hit next. I'm going to use 64 megabytes for sure and hit next create next next I'll do it in a different location by clicking on my specific location and hit create then click on settings storage I'm going to get rid of my optical drive in this version and look for your NT 3.1 images you may have to install MS-DOS for some reason because I did it and it worked. Then click OK. Then hit Start. Once here, you're going to hit Enter. Enter. Then hit C enter and we're going to format to NTFS and hit enter then hit F then hit enter and now you're going to need disk number two so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the video to the next screen so I'll be back if this comes up make sure you uh, remove any drives in drive A and then hit right control delete to restart now type in your name click continue click continue then type in your computer name I'll type in WinNT31 then hit continue, then hit continue, continue, cancel, OK, continue, continue, then click on no network, then hit OK. And now it's going to ask you for disk number 9. So let's do that. And now I'll be back because you will need a whole bunch of floppies to finish the setup, so I'll be back. Once you're done with all 22 floppy disks, just hit, just click on continue, then hit OK, then type in your name, then hit, just click on continue, and then hit OK. Make sure you check box automatically adjust for daylight savings time. I'm going to select my uh, time zone. I am in the Pacific time. Then hit OK. Now, you have to be careful with this one because we have a floppy disk in there. Before you do that, you need to hit right control, right click on that disk, then hit remove disk from virtual drive. I did not remove the disk but when I hit OK and it actually formatted the disk the, the disk number 22 that was used for the setup and so what I did is I had to get fresh new floppy images from WinWorld PC and ever, ever since I have to be careful with that one because you have to make sure that you remove the last the, the last 
floppy disk before you hit OK. Because if you don't, if you hit OK, it's going to format that disk. It's going to turn into the it's going to turn into the Windows NT 3.1 recovery disk or, or emergency repair disk as says here. So I'm going to warn you guys. Make sure you take out your, the last setup disk before you hit OK. Otherwise, if you don't, you're going to end up making your own emergency repair disk and you'll never use that particular version to install Windows NT 3.1. So click OK. Then if this comes up, just hit OK. Then hit Cancel. Then hit OK. Then now restart the computer. And now it's going to convert to NTFS because we said to uh, we said to NTFS. And now it's going to restart again. And now we are loading up Windows NT 3.1. Then hit right control delete and then hit OK by hitting enter. Might take a while. And there you go. That's how to install Windows NT 3.1. If I click on help and then hit about program manager, there you go. You have successfully installed Windows NT 3.1. So that's it. That's how to do that. So thank you guys for watching. Please be sure to hit the subscribe button and also the bell icon when you upload new videos. Also, follow me on Twitter at RubenAppadicio17 or Instagram at RubenTheTransitFan. So that's how to install Windows NT 3.1 in VirtualBox. So I'll see you next time.